Hi Libra, so this is me a little four card love spread for you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I love you guys so much. You guys are so sweet to me. Um, if you guys do want to book a reading with me, lizzytarot 1010 at gmail.com. I am doing um, the four cards and then I am going to be pulling, pulling um, two bonus cards from two different oracle decks. So let's get into it. So we did get the seven, um, sorry, not the seven of swords. So I am getting seven of swords energy. We did get the five of swords, um, nine of pentacles, king of swords, and the two of cups. So I'm getting a lot of, um, air energy. So Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini, um, Aquarius is on here heavy. So is, um, cancer and, um, Scorpio. I'm also getting heavy like fire signs. So for sure Leo and um, Sag and Aries like those three signs are like literally coming out. Also uh, Taurus. So I feel like what I'm getting with the five of swords energy and me saying the seven of swords. I feel like honestly you found out that someone was you know um, maybe cheating on you or like there was no consistency um, between you guys, like, it was just kind of, like, one day you guys were good, and the next day, like, you guys didn't know what you guys were, you know, it was always on, like, that off and on type of energy is what I'm getting, um, like, there was no communication, like, the text messages, the calls, I feel like you guys were even getting calls, if you guys were, it was like, oh, well, what are you doing, okay, well, I'll text you, all right, okay, bye, like, it was just dumb, like, it was just, like, that little small talk, like, oh, I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna call him, just to kind of see what's up, you know? So I feel like there was a communication problem. Um, maybe they were like acting a little aggressive towards you or you saw something and you're just like, um, a red flag. So I feel like you like steering away from this person. Um, it's kind of like you kind of having the upper hand. You're just like realizing I want more. I need more. You know, I want actions of love. I want dates. I want good fun times. Like I have everything else, you know, money is good. Everything else is good. Like where's my Prince Charming or, you know, where's my, the woman of my dreams type thing, especially with the nine of pentacles. I feel like a lot of success, a lot of prosperity and like rewards are coming to you. Like you matured, um, maybe your birthday is coming up. Shout out to my Libras. September is literally around the corner. Um, October. So I feel like right now you're jumping into where you want to be more independent, but more enough that your standards are higher. I feel like you're putting yourself on a pedestal and you're like, you know what? Like if he's not going to give me A, B and C or if she's not going to give me A, B and C, I don't want it. Like it's the door for me, <laughs> you know? And I feel like the universe really wants you to manifest and be patient and be realistic. Like, um, do you want someone to be funny? If they're funny, do you want them to be witty? Have like a dry sense of humor to get your sense of humor. Do you want them to be tall? Do you want them to be short? Do you want them to speak a certain language? You got it. Like you have to be extremely specific, you know? And I feel like sometimes they're like, oh, well, just bring me a man. And then you're like, oh, the universe brought me a man. But like it was a shit show, you know, because you're manifesting a shit show, you know, because you're not being very clear. And also what I'm getting with manifesting, I feel like you want big changes to come, but I feel like you're hot and cold. With it. You're like, oh, I want to be single and independent and live my life. I want one more year to like be a clown or go out and party and enjoy my youth. And then other days you're like, you know what? No, I really need to settle down, you know? So I feel like you really need to make up your mind so the universe can send you what you want, you know? Tell the universe, like, I'm ready for a true, actual love, you know, that's ready to be serious with me or whatever you kind of want. Even if you want to manifest a rich man or if you want to manifest, like, um, a nurturing woman, whatever it is, you name it. The universe will give it to you in a quickness. You know, you asking for a, a person, I actually recently like discovered this, um, from one of my close friends. She was actually talking about it and I was like, damn, she ain't freaking lying. The universe to bring you a man or a woman, a blink of an eye, you know? So for people saying like, oh, there's no love out there. Like you have to be vibrating at that frequency that you want to meet people. Because if you go out and you're just like, oh, I just want to meet like he, 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 like a he, he, he guy, you're going to meet a he, he, he guy. And then you're going to be wanting to be serious with a he, he, he guy, right? But you were intentionally wanted just to have fun. And this person just wants to have fun, right? But you want to be serious with them. 
like so you know what i mean so i feel like the universe really wants to, you to bring changes but they really want you to like make yourself a schedule like what do you want to work for what do you want to like see yourself in three months six months like they really want you to have a plan you know your god and the angels really want you to like sit down and really focus on what what what's the next move what are we doing you know because big changes are coming whether you like them or like it or not and i feel like you need to really make um like a decision. I feel like you can't really compare. I feel like my Libras, sometimes we have that issue where we like to compare like, oh, well, this person, this, this, la, la, la. And the universe is saying like, you know what? Like, don't compare. Um, you know what you want and don't let anyone like, don't let others words um, tell you otherwise, you know? Especially the two of cups. I feel like love is on its way. I feel like the universe has been manifesting this for you for a while. But you're just always like, no, I don't want to love or this and that. Or you're still kind of, you know, entertaining or kind of off and on with certain people. You're still in the hamster wheel of the ex. Um, I feel like the universe really wants you to steer away from that. So you can really meet someone that's caring. I feel like this person's going to be very mature, very know um, what they want, very trustworthy, very nurturing. Really going to understand you for you, you know? um they're not gonna be with games i feel like you're like i'm done with that fuck boy fuck girl okay then you know leave them let go stop worrying about them start worrying about you what are you doing you know um <laughs> like are you still wearing the same clothes that you guys would wear when you guys go out do you still do your makeup the same is your hair still the same if you want to lose a little bit of waist you know you want to slim the gut like slim the waist you know watch the bod all that stuff you want to eat different you want to do certain things that you never did with this person okay then do it who is stopping you only you you know and i feel like sometimes my libras we get so in our head like this and that and we get so like persistent that we want this a certain way and you're, it's just, it's not going to be like that, you know, be kind to yourself, love yourself, be patient with yourself, you know, you can give anybody advice, but when it comes to your own advice, you're like, never mind, never mind, I, I don't know, I can't see, <laughs> look, and it says true love and express your love, so it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture, so love is on the way. So you just need to be positive, you know, and true love. So whoever you freaking meet next is going to be true freaking love. Like this is no game type of person. This person's going to give you everything that you want and more like, <laughs> and look, <laughs> oh my God, I can't make this shit up. So it says, let yourself receive, allow others to give you loving care and receive without feeling guilty or apologize. Yeah. So don't feel like it's too good to be true. Don't self-sabotage yourself. Like, is this fake? Is this person fucking around? They're not like they're actually being sincere. And it says a new dawn. The worst has are the worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So things are going to get get better. Get out of your head is what I'm hearing. Really watch your thoughts because your negative thoughts really tend to, um, <laughs> like hinder everything and i don't know if you guys have ever watched or heard the audiobook of um is it the secret where they're talking about like the universe gives you everything and this and third because you're like manifesting and also i feel like you really need to sleep i feel like you're not sleeping if you are sleeping you're going to sleep very very late or you're waking up in the middle of the night you're just kind of uncomfortable tossing and turning um i feel like you really need to catch up on your sleep I would try meditating before bed. So like 10 minutes before bed, you know, get off your phone, do your little night routine, really set up skincare. If you want to drink a tea, if you want to take a shower, get into your pajamas, whatever you want to do, watch a movie, whatever, it is, whatever it is, really get into a routine so you can take a nap to really get that clear mind for you to be in a good mood. Because I feel like a lot of my Libras, you guys aren't sleeping, right? Because you guys are thinking about so much. You guys just want to do everything at night. Um... And then the morning comes and you guys are cranky and you're just like, I shouldn't have stayed up, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So that's all I have for you guys. It was a little bit of love and, you know, self-care vibe. So I love you guys so much. Please comment and like if you guys do resonate. Become a new subby. Hit that follow button. Lizzie Tarot 1010 at gmail.com if you guys do want to book a reading with me. I do have openings. So if you guys do want to book with me, hit me up and I will book that reading for you guys and we can see what's up. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay.